Hello you guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Jimmy and today we are going to be playing Hearts of Iron 4 as Austria Hungary as we have done. So I have done a um, bit of off camera work. Um, it was going to be a video, but um, some things got messed up. So actually I'm going to make sure everything's working first. Yeah, this is all good. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, capturing Lithuania because it's kind of a buffer because I really want some actual territory so that I um, get more war participation and then become more powerful than the Germans. Also I forgot to mention our colonies in America. Yep, we have um, taken Louisiana. So yeah, that is our colony. So I'm going to set up some battle plans and we should be ready to go. And now we are justifying war on Polish Lithuania. I have my uh, stuff set up. Okay, so now I'm going to be working on some of these units. First, let's look at our production. All right, our support crit equipment. Yeah, you probably shouldn't uh, do anything with support because things are not looking the greatest and the British are justifying that is a-okay however we are not going to let the Germans join in on the war against Lithuania because we want all of that land so that we can um, start our own front with the Soviet Union and then get the war participation of course and our war justification is done now we shall declare war all right nope we're not justifying not justifying cancel declare war i'm not going to call our allies now let's look now let's start this oh and they're at war with them anyway well that's an oof Okay, so Lithuania has capitulated. Dang British called Germany uh, the Lithuanian enemy. So, yeah, I'm going to be trading them some territory so that I can occupy this territory over here. All right, they have accepted the offer. Hopefully, I will be able to ask for control of a state. They have a non-aggression pact with Turkey, the Germans do apparently. Okay, well, there you go. I'm signing a non-aggression pact with them. See if we can grind the Soviets to a halt. Most likely. Alright, we need to cover the southern flank, and I'm guessing that's all. Yeah, but now that we've brought the Soviets to a screeching halt, we should start be to begin an offensive as soon as this is done. Now let's begin our offensives. All right, this is mainly very good. All right, look at that, and a successful offensive. There we go. Maybe we can get an encirclement here. That would be amazing. And the Japanese are pushing also. Holy cow, look at this battle. It was a victory. Look at that, we got rid of a heavy cruiser. And we are able to produce better fighters. So that'll be really good for our army. Our fleet, rather. So what else should I research? I should probably research close air support, since that's what I'm using right now. Yeah, I think that'd be a good thing to do. Look at our air superiority. Oh yeah, so we're going to need to start focusing more on central Russia in a bit. But yeah, looks like we're doing really good in the air war right there. They're pushing. They're starting to push back a bit, a little bit. So I think it's best to keep our forces organized. Looks like we've stopped the Soviets. So now I've got a different solution. This time I think it would be better to cut these guys off and then take them out. And that way we severely weaken them and then we push here once we take out those encircled divisions. Well actually this is more of a hold off. 
Oh yeah, look at all of those casualties we're ca causing. Okay, here we go. All right, now I think it's appropriate to push again. You just gotta, you've gotta figure out when they're um, attacking and making ground because you don't want to um, deorganize yourself or whatever you want to you want to uh, have some organization so that you can defend properly whenever they start their offensives hopefully we can capture this city here we go okay so these guys need to be replaced we're uh, making progress up here it's a very slow progress but it's progress nonetheless we can do this there we go okay these guys are ready to roll I think so let's put them on the front line all right I think we should stop um, attacking for now and let the Soviets throw themselves onto us and just take massive casualties yeah because they're doing lots of damage to us that's basically what we're doing right now send the, all of them over to southern England there we go and these guys are doing a naval invasion at Dover oh it does not look like they're going to win though oh no we just lost 11 divisions yeah we're not doing that again okay yeah no we are not doing that well let's keep on trying we can hopefully cripple their navy we can do that then we should be able to keep naval superiority mm, hey there's an encirclement there we go oh a nice 15 divisions right there just got encircled Here's the breakthrough we've been waiting for. Hey, we got a victory on a British port. The fall of Moscow. Definitely very close to capitulation, but not too close to capitulation. What I mean by too close is I mean I want to get up my um, stuff what I'm trying to say um, my war participation so like this is at 10% right now let's look at this so how many casualties yeah so how many casualties have we inflicted onto them anyway 1.1 million that's amazing yeah I think those tanks were exactly what we needed for the breakthrough but I was resupplying them because they were very low on supplies, actually. So we really needed that. Okay, this is great. So it looks like primarily we're the ones attacking them, especially in the south. We're primarily the ones doing this damage. So that's good. Or, or at least the stuff that's actually working. They are attacking them up here, but that's, that's, not, that's not working what we're doing that's what that's what everybody should be looking to do is what we're doing and let's see 11 percent war uh war participation that's good we want to be stealing it from germany it doesn't look like we're stealing it from germany because germany is stealing it from japan it looks like so yeah japanese are doing good over here I am also doing well now if we can get nukes Then that would be amazing. What are we doing right now with our national focus? We don't need to be army training We need to be Ooh, Okay, I Hardly got anything Okay, now we have the Britain to deal with so actually instead of this I'm going to be working on uh, let's see let's go here 
Yeah, the Marines. I need these guys. Yes, I am sure. Alright, and our nuclear effort should be finished. And in a bit. So, yes, now we can start developing nuclear weapons. Already at 2% just after it's done researching. There we go. Nuclear missiles are great kids. Oh yeah, that's good. Nuclear missiles are fantastic. When should our first one be done? 89 days? Oh wow, that's fast. What we're going to need to do though is, all right. Oh wait, that ta counts as a tactical bomber, huh? Okay, well you guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.